What is up everybody? It's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World overview and today we're going to be looking at Scotch Hollow. Now this world y'all is amazing. Okay I came across this world a couple of minutes ago and it's so cool. <laughs> like look at this y'all. This world is so cool. And now it's a medium sized world so it's not super big by any means but there's so many lots to check out and I want to check like I, I want to get into this okay. <laughs> I saw this and I was like I had to just review this today for y'all. Now I'm not sure about every single expansion pack that you'll need for this world on the creator's page. It just says that, it's, that it uses packs every pack from like from may 2011 on back so i'm going to assume that you'll need world adventures late night generations and ambitions i want to say so i don't think anything past that so i don't think like it uses pets for example but i could be wrong we'll see as we go along you'll also need barnacle bay which is a world on the sims 3 store and then you'll also need riverview which is a free world but anyway y'all let's go ahead and get into it i think what we'll do is let's start off you know what let's start over here in this little area and then we'll work our way around so I guess we'll start down here first and then we'll just go this way. So let's go down here first to the Dizzy McCracken's Jazz Club. Okay, y'all, so we're down here at this nightclub and it looks so cool. Like, it looks like a restaurant. It kind of reminds me of the business as usual bistro on Sims 3 store, but it looks pretty cool. I like the, the windows and the columns and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and zoom down and see what it looks like on the inside though. Turns out this is the entrance area. <laughs> okay, I, I was at this side. Let's see, so when you come in, there's like a little lobby area right here. I guess you just sit down a little, a little walkthrough area. There are some stairs down here. We'll go downstairs first to check it out, but let's go over here real quick. So out here, like on the patio uh, area, you have like a little fire pit. You also have a self-serving bar over there. So that's pretty cool. You have the bathrooms in the middle as well now let's go ahead and go downstairs real quick oh this is pretty cool okay let's see so when you come downstairs so let's see there is bathrooms over here in this corner you also have a shuffleboard over here which is pretty cool you have of course the elevator right there i guess over here is like vip access because it's like roped off but in this room you have a bar right here you have a little platform for the bands from late night you have like a nice little sitting area here some tables and stuff like that so this area down here is really really cool like the creator did an amazing job i'm loving this so far i forgot to mention that this world does use some store content like i think for example this could be store content this wall decoration but i don't have everything that you'll need and it's not really listed on the exchange as far as i know but anyway let's go ahead and go upstairs though okay so when you go upstairs to the top of the building up of course up here is roped off as well but you have like a little sitting area right here where you can sit down you have tables and stuff like that you have a piano in the center so that's pretty cool you also have a bar over here out here on the like balcony let's see what we have out here so out here on the balcony you have some more tables a little sitting area right here this lot has a lot of places for your sims to just sit and talk and chat okay y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on let's go over here next and check out this little fishing spot so this is called gordon's gorge so let's check this out next okay y'all so we're over here at gordon's gorge and it looks pretty cool i like how the weatherstone is like all the way in the ground that's pretty cool <laughs> but you have a pond out here where your sims can come and fish you have a little place to sit down there's also a fire pit back out here as well you have some little torches down here on the ground so i guess that's like little lights and stuff like that but this is pretty cool there's even like a little trail that your sims can come and walk down all right y'all i know there's some more stuff over here that we didn't see yet but we're just going to continue this way and we'll just work our way around so let's go over here next to this lot so this is the play land playground and then we'll like go into town so let's check out this little playground first oh my gosh y'all we're down here at the playground but this world is just so cool like look at this like look at this look at the pavement and stuff like that like, this is so cool i like it out here i love this world we're playing i'm playing in this world one day okay <laughs> but anyway so you have this playground area right here there is a sim here uh, this world is populated by the way because it is a safe file but we have like a random sim out here like what are you doing out here dude but anyway <laughs> we have some spring rides we have the slide of course this little uh light pull right here is some store content so keep that in mind i think it's like from the play i forgot what it's i forgot the set that is from but it's like one of the little like kit sets on the sim 3 store but you also have a seesaw swings over here the little like baker station yeah so you will need ambitions i throw uh so your kids can like sell like baked goods and stuff like that there's also a sandbox and you have a tree house as well so that's pretty cool little toy box in the back and i'm gonna assume that the bathrooms are in this little building right here so let's go ahead and just scroll down real quick yeah so this is the bathroom there's also like a little potty out here for kids so that's pretty cool as well and then there's a house across the street which i don't really want to look at the houses right now but they're like right here y'all so let's just look at them right and this one is really cool though because it has like the nice a-framed roofing y'all this is so cool i like the columns with the little leaves and stuff on them really cool but let's see when you come in you have a chest table right here you also have a nice kitchen area over here so this is pretty cool you also have like a really nice kitchen area over here so there's a little table right here fireplace you also have a living room area 
really nice. I love the color scheme in here. This painting is also some sort of content. I think it comes from one of the goth sets. I think that this like picture of Eliminate comes with outdoor living stuff. So you will need that stuff pack as well. So when you go upstairs, you have a nice little bedroom in here with the telescope. Really cool. And a desk in here as well. And then over here, you have a bathroom. And then even outside the house, there is like a little chemistry table out here. So that's pretty cool as well. And since we're right here, let's just check out this house. This one is really nice too. Has kind of an A-framed, has the little sunflowers growing outside of it. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So when you come in, you have a nice living room right here. I want to say these chairs are also store content. You have a nice kitchen over here as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go downstairs though. All right. So when you go downstairs, I don't think there's any lights down here though, but there is like a secondary kitchen down here. You also have a bathroom over here as well. You have the drafting table that came with ambitions and some art easels. And then you also have like two bedrooms down here as well. So if you need extra space in this house, you have it. And then outside of the house, you have a chest table. All right, y'all. I know we skipped out some of the houses. We'll get to some more after, but let's try to get to some of the, the community lots first so now let's go ahead over here into town let's check out the rhythm gym so we'll go to all of these first and then we'll go over here next okay y'all so we're down here at the gym and i forgot to mention this so when you go to download this world you have to go to the exchange and, and download the world of course but this world is going to be empty and then i'm using the creator's save file that has like all the builds and stuff like that in the sims so keep that in mind so when you download off of the exchange it will be completely empty but if you go to the creator's website which i'll leave both of them linked down below when you go to the website you can get the save file and that has everything that's like populated and built and stuff like that but anyway we're down here at the gym so let's go ahead and open it up let's see so when you come in you have like a little front desk area right here with the computer desk you also have a little place to sit you have the treadmills right here and then over here in this room you have the weight machines really nice and then over here in the corner you have the bathrooms so let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have some nice ottomans where your sims could come and sit down on you also have a nice mirror right here so you, your sims can see themselves getting in shape and then out here on the patio you have a little place where your sims could come and sit down at you can sit over here if you want to there's a self-serving bar so you can come and get yourself something to drink all right y'all let's go over here to this one next so this is the fire department looks pretty cool like i you, I, I didn't i couldn't tell it was a fire department from the outside but it looks really cool though it looks very modern let's go ahead and open it up though let's see so when you come in you have the front desk right here really nice you have of course the, the fire truck inventing desk right here you have this little table i think this table came with fast lane stuff so you won't need that stuff pack as well but you have that i think this also came with, with fast lane stuff the clutter items and stuff like that and then over here you have the foosball table which i think this is store content by the way also have another little foosball table as well you have a little area right here with the little vr uh game and you also have like a stereo and let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs let's see you have a little kitcheny area right here bathrooms over here in this corner you also have a little living room area with the tv so you can come and watch tv and you have a little sliding pole of course so let's go ahead and go upstairs again you have the bedrooms where your firefighters can come to sleep you have the bookshelves as well i forgot this earlier but there is a little balcony right here with the telescope and you have a little weight machine and then over here beside it we have this so this is the potter's house this is classified as a hangout but it looks like a little restaurant or maybe like a cafe or something so let's just go ahead and scroll down just to see up here when you walk up you have some tables out here where you can come and sit at and then when you come inside you have the the food register right here a little coffee machine a sculpture station right here and there's also like a little sitting area right here by the fireplace which is pretty cool and then out here on the back you just have the chess table and the telescope and then there's some stairs down here so let's go downstairs real quick let's see so when you come downstairs you have an art easel drafting table inventing table down here as well you also have a little chemistry set in the corner and you have a bathroom in here so i guess you can come down here to build some skills if you need to all right y'all so let's go over here to this side and we'll go over here to the salon next so this is called the fashion foray and then I guess we'll check out the My Muse art and artifacts uh, art gallery. So let's check out the salon first. Okay, y'all. So we're down here at the salon and it looks pretty fancy. It looks like there's like three different things on one lot. Let's just go ahead and scroll down and get a better look. Ooh, this is nice. This salon is nice. Okay. These Sims live in lavish out here. Hello? Let's see when you <laughs> let's see when you come in. You have a nice little stylist station right here. There's also one over here on the other side as well. You have the hot tubs in here as well. So that's pretty cool. And then over here on this side, you have, I guess this is where you can get your tattoos so you can get one here here you have the arcade game in here little sitting area where you can come and watch tv you have the bathrooms over here in the back so that's pretty cool and then over here on this side this looks like it's a clothing store i guess it's, you know and then you have like the little dressing rooms in the back i would i would assume so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and go upstairs though let's see so when you go upstairs you just have a little walkthrough area with a fountain in it then over here on this side at the top you just have like some places to lounge out at so that's pretty cool with another little fountain right there and then over here on this side you have some tables is this like a food register yeah so you have like a food register so i guess you can come and like treat this as like a little restaurant or something or maybe if you're a sims in the stylist career or profession they could come and get something to eat while they're on the clock all right y'all so let's go over here to this little art gallery next all right y'all so we're down here at this little art gallery and this is kind of cool though because right behind it 
is a playground. So you have like the little playhouse, the swing, the slide and stuff like that, a grill, places to sit down and eat. Let's go over here first and open up this art gallery because I want to see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see. So when you come in, I guess this is the front desk with the little place to sit down. Let's go outside real quick. So out here, you have a place to sit. You have a fire pit out here. Then over here in this room, you just have some things that are on display. I'll bring the walls up in case we missed anything. You have like art on the wall and some sculptures and stuff like that in here. So that's pretty cool. There is a bathroom over here in this corner. Yep. So you have like a bathroom over here in this corner. Let's go ahead and go upstairs though. When you go upstairs, this is pretty cool though. So you have like a little fish tank over here, a little places to sit. You can look at the art and sculptures and stuff like that and artifacts. And then out here at the top, you have a little self-serving bar, some places to sit. So I guess you can get a drink on this slot if you really wanted to. All right, y'all. So let's go over here next, I guess. So this is the park that we just saw, Finn Park. And then over here, we have the Finn's consignment store. So let's check out the consignment store next. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the consignment store and I missed this, but over here in the corner on this park, there are some um, chess tables out here. So if you do need to like practice chess or raise the logic skill, you can do that on this slot if you really wanted to. But let's go ahead and open up this consignment store. Oh, this was the entrance of it. Oh, okay. So we're we were at the back of it wait let's go back up real quick oh okay so this is the entrance okay <laughs> that makes more sense let's go ahead and open it let's go ahead and open it up though let's see so when you come up the stairs you have like places to sit down you have the like, consignment register right here nice fancy little sitting area right here i like the little miniature uh figures and stuff like that and art on the wall i want to say this artwork is store content as well let's go ahead and go upstairs though let's see so when you go upstairs you have the time machine that came with ambitions you have some artifacts and stuff like that up here as well a little jackalope there's also a bad bathroom over here as well so pretty cool so if you need a consignment lot you have one and there's even like out here on the back a little grill so you can come and grill if you want to all right y'all so we've seen everything in this little area let's go over here next to this little area and we'll look at the mccracken memorial library and then we'll check out the lost lock water park so let's check out the library first all right y'all so we're down here at the library and it's kind of hidden amongst the trees which is pretty cool there's a little bench out here a, a bike rack out here as well let's go ahead and scroll down though let's see so when you come in oh is this like the front entrance oh i guess you'll enter in this way uh okay so this is the front of the lot okay okay that makes sense but anyway let's see when you come in you have the bathrooms over here in this area you have of course a little place to sit over here with the bookshelves you have little kits area over here with the activity table then over here on this side you have the computer desk over here more little sitting places over here as well another little sitting area over here as well so you have like a nice little library if you need it but now let's go over here to the water park now this this is pretty cool though so i wasn't expecting this world to have a water park really nice though i like the colors and stuff like that looks very tropical very colorful so let's see you have a nice pool out here you have the little pool lounges out here you have the hot tub little places to lounge out over here as well you have a bar over here that came with late night so you can come and get a, a drink or eat out here if you really wanted to i guess this is like the, the lifeguard stand this world was made before island paradise came out but if you want to you can always remove this chair and put the one that came with island paradise if you have it but let's go ahead and scroll down just to see what's on the inside of this little building though let's see so on the inside of this i guess you just have a bookshelf and of course like the countertops and stuff like that and i guess your sim can come and like sit here as well but you can always like make this a little bit more functional if you have the lifeguard stand but then again over here on this side you just have the bathrooms you have the chest table and i want to say this chest table came with barnacle bay so you will need of course barnacle bay again and then of course over here you just have the bathrooms as well all right y'all so now let's go back this way for a second and we'll go over here and check out the lake trends pool and spa and then we'll check out the ocean zen fusion lounge so let's check out the pool and spa first okay y'all so we're over here at the spa area and this is pretty cool it looks again very modern so like there's a pool out here there's also a hot tub as well you have little places to lounge out at let's go ahead let's go ahead and open up these buildings to see what they look like on the inside so i guess we'll start over here on this one first all right so we'll start over here on this one first when you come in there is a inventing table in here you have a place to sit down you have like a little kitcheny area with the fridge there's also a stairway and a little table over here let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you just have a bedroom up here is this like a house oh this is a house okay i thought this was a <laughs> i thought this was the spa but maybe this is the spa i don't know what the spa would be though i'm guessing like since this is a house i guess everything over here is like considered the spa i want to say i guess so i don't know but anyway <laughs> you have like a bedroom in here and you have the shower as well there's also the sculpting station you have the weight machine and you have a telescope and i guess we'll check out this house next to it so upstairs there's pretty much the same layout you know just put like different furniture of course but you have like a bed and then of course up here instead of like the weight machine you have an art easel but it looks pretty cool though bookshelf little place to sit out here telescope over here bathroom in the the back downstairs we have like a tv living room area i think this is also some store content this bookshelf you also have a bar in here as well you have a kitchen over here in the back is again a little kitchen table and then let's go and check out this other one right here yeah so they have like slightly different out like layouts but they're pretty much i guess all on the same lot you have like a living room area right here kitchen 
you have like the dining room and a bathroom back here in the back. When you go upstairs, you have a bedroom up here, another bedroom over in the corner. You have the bathroom right here. And then you have like a weight machine and a telescope over here. And then over here on this one. So maybe these are just houses. I'm not really sure, but let's go ahead and scroll down again. So this one, when you come in, it has like the living room right here. You have the kitchen. This one looks similar to the one that we just seen. And then when you go upstairs, you have like the two bedrooms. This one has like a computer desk in it. This one just has a desk. You have the bathroom and you have like the art easel out here on the balcony. And then you have like a motorcycle and bike racks so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go over here next to the lounge then we'll go over here and check out this slot next all right y'all so we're down here at the lounge and this is pretty cool though again i think i'm missing some stuff i got like the mounted fish so i'm pretty sure i'm missing some stuff but this is pretty cool though let's go ahead and scroll down Ooh, this is really nice so let's see so when you come in Ooh, this is nice. I like the little walkthrough area with a little fountain right here. You have like a little room where you can come and drink the nectar. You have like the nectar racks over here as well. Little sitting area right here. Bathroom over here in the corner. Let's go this way. So let's see, you have like a table here. You have like the aquarium that came with late night. And then of course, like down here, you have like a bar, places to sit down over here. You have like some more places to sit over here as well more places to sit over here you have like a little piano area right here i think that's pretty much it for downstairs you have like another little lounge area right here as well in the bathroom in the corner over there let's see so when you go upstairs you have another bar right here you have some arcade games in the back you have some tables over here you have like a little like platform right here with the instrument so you can like perform shows here you also have foosball over here in the corner dartboard shuffleboard over here you have a little place to sit over here as well you have the bathrooms so there's a ton of activities in here and then when you scroll up to the top you have a fire pit out here there's also like the bubble blowing station all right y'all so now let's go over here to this little area so this is the okay so this is like what a subway station is but over here is a little china garden so let's check out the garden next okay y'all so we're down here at the china garden this is so nice like look at all the landscaping and the trees and stuff like that like hello this is so cool there's like a little pond right here that's pretty cool let's see what else we have out here there's a fountain what's underneath here Ooh, let's see okay so like we have like some space rocks or something like that out here there's also like another little pond over here as well let's see there's a little place where you can sit right here oh there's some harvestables right here so what do they have let's can we like scroll down yeah there we go so we have like some harvestables on in here so we have like the tomatoes and some grapes growing so that's pretty cool this looks like it's a little zen garden so that's pretty cool as well this is nice y'all like look at this little pond right here you have like a little picnic table in the grill area right here you have like the apple tree growing another little place to sit over here a lime tree so this whole like garden is so serene and then of course it's like right here by the subway so you can always use that to like travel around the world but all right y'all let's go over here next to this so this is the lake shore laundromat and then we'll check out the club calibonia so let's check out the laundromat first all right y'all so we're down here at the laundromat and it looks really cool like i love the color scheme and stuff let's go ahead and scroll down let's see so when you come in oh it's like a little uh, baby laundromat this is so cool though so when you come in you have like the washers and dryers over here really nice you have like a little stereo right here so i guess you can listen to music as you're washing clothes you also have a bookshelf right here and a little place to sit let's go ahead and go upstairs let's see so when you go upstairs you have a sink right here a coffee machine there's a bookshelf right there a little place to sit right here and of course you have like a bathroom in the corner and then out here on the balcony, you have like a little sitting area. But this is like a really cool laundromat. Like it's so small. This is like a little dance club next to it. And it looks very similar to it. So I guess it's like roped off. So I guess you gotta have like access to come in here though. But when you come in, there are some like bathrooms right here on each side. So that's pretty cool. You have like a little pool area right here with the fountains in the middle. Very fancy. You also have like some places to lounge out at, which is also pretty cool. You have some stairs and an elevator. So let's go upstairs real quick. So when you go upstairs, there's a little walkthrough area. There's also the arcade games up here. But I don't really think there's anything else up here though so when you go all the way to the top you have a bar right here lounge chairs out here places to sit and stuff like that and then there's something inside this little building yeah so in here you have like the hot tub and a little place to sit so this is pretty cool though all right y'all so now let's go over here to this little area and we'll check out the caledonia corners lap pool so let's check this out next all right y'all so over here is just a little community pool you have the little lounge chairs over here and then you also have like another one right here all right y'all so now let's go over here to this section we'll go over here and check out this first so this is the fitness park and then we'll go over here to the stadium sports bar so let's go over here to the park first all right y'all so we're over here at this little park and it has the martial arts training post that you can use with world adventures so you can like learn the martial arts skill so that's pretty cool so you also have like places to sit over here as well i guess you can like come and spar over here if you wanted to you also have like the board breaking uh object where you can break the boards as well so that's pretty cool i think you also have like the little like incense thing where you can like have change the scent of stuff so that's pretty cool as well and now let's go over here to the sports bar next all right y'all so we're over here at the sports bar let's go ahead and scroll down real quick just to see what it looks like on the inside let's see so when you come in i guess you need vip 
VIP access to get upstairs though. But when you come in, you have some arcade games, little place to sit over here in the corner, a TV, bathroom area right here. And I want to say like both of these items are store content, I want to say, so you will need those. Let's see, when you go upstairs, you have a dartboard. You also have foosball, shuffleboard, place to sit over here. You have a bar over here as well. So it looks pretty cool though. It's like a little sports bar. And then outside of it, you have like this nice little area right here. So you have like the little diner. You also have like the subway. You can sit out here if you want to. There's like this little like room right here. I don't know if this is like the bathroom or not. Let's go ahead and scroll down just to see. Yeah, so this is like the little bathroom. And then you also have like the bike racks over there as well. So this little, little place is really cool though. All right, y'all. So let's go over here to this area next. This is the Stone of Destiny Park. So let's check this out next. Okay, y'all. So we're down here at the Stone of Destiny Park. And literally that's the Stone of Destiny right there, right? <laughs> um, There's also like a picnic table and a grill out here. You have some park benches out here where you can come and sit down. Of course, you have like the beautiful lake out here. So that's pretty cool. You can come and swim or fish. Really nice out here. All right, y'all. So let's go over here to this part of the map and let's check out this area. This is the Huckleberry Hills campsite. And then I guess we'll go over here to this one. This is the Hollow Hills camp. So let's check out the Huckleberry Hills first. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the little campsite and I do see like this little room. I guess this is the bathroom or something. Let's scroll down just to see. Yeah, so this is like the bathroom. You have like you have the shower and the toilet and then you have like a little place to sit. And then over here, you just have like a grill and a picnic table out here, a little clearing. So I guess you could put like a tent out here if you wanted to camp. And you also have like a little pond out here where you can come and fish. And of course, there's like a little hiking trail that you, I guess your Sims can walk down. But now let's go over here to this next campsite. All right, y'all. So we're over here at this other campsite and there is like a pond over here where your Sims can come and fish. You have like a little bridge right here. I guess I'll scroll down. So you have like a little bridge right here. You also have a little grill out here and the picnic tables where you can come and sit. Another grill over here as well. And then above this, let's see, you have a fire pit out here. There's also some tents where your Sims can come and sleep. And then you have like this little building, which let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you have this building. I guess this is like where the bathrooms are. Yeah. So you have like the shower, the toilet. You also have like a sink in here. Looks pretty cool. And then over here, you have the hot tub and not like a little clothesline out here. So really nice campsite. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and keep moving on. Let's go back this way for a second and we'll look at the Scotch Hollow Worship Center and then we'll check out the Scotch Hollow Cemetery. So I think they're like on the same area. Okay, y'all, so we're down here at the Worship Center and it looks really nice. I'm gonna imagine that you probably can get married here, I would say. Let's go ahead and scroll down though. Oh, I was right. Ooh, this is pretty cool though. So let's see, when you come down, you have some pews in here. So it doesn't have like a uh, wedding arch, but you can definitely add one in here if you want it to though. But you have like a little like table right here. You also have the piano you have some uh you have like a guitar and a bass over here you can sit over here if you wanted to then over here on this side you have like the bathrooms you have a buffet table you have like a little dance floor right here a table where you can come and sit you have a bar over here you have a little kids room in here with the crib and an activity table and a little high chair in here you have a, a meeting room over here as well and then of course you have like a parking lot out here and then what's over here in the back i guess you have like a little playground back here as well so that's pretty cool with the swing and slide and then over here beside it you have the cemetery so let's just scroll down just to see so of course you have like the different graves and stuff like that over there you have the mausoleum right here a little place where you can come and sit more graves over here on this side you have like this little building right here let's scroll down to see what's on the inside of it though uh, okay so over here's just the bathroom so when you come in you just have like the bathrooms a little chair in here as well oh there's some harvestables back out here so you have like bell peppers garlic you have the onion there's also the death flower bush yeah so if you need a graveyard you have it all right y'all so now let's keep going on this way and let's check out the weary wanderer rest stop next all right y'all so we're down here at the weary wanderer rest stop and you have a pond out here where your sims can come and fish places to sit down as well and then over here you have like the grills and a picnic table so it is just like a little rest stop then you also have like the bathrooms over here as well and i want to say that this lot right here is thor content i want to say i think this is like a little charging area where you can charge up some smart cars i want to say so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go over here to this area let's go to the golden platinum club and then we'll check out the jumanji next so when you scroll down you have the bathrooms over here in the corners you have a little sitting area right here you also have a nice fountain over here in the middle there's another little sitting area back there and then you have like the elevator so i guess we'll go ahead and go upstairs Ooh, oh this is nice this is really nice so when you go upstairs assuming that you can get inside because it is kind of roped off you have like a little area right here with the bands from late night you have like little places where your sims can come and sit down and in the corners and you have a bar over here as well so that's pretty cool so this lot is pretty cool though so then when you go upstairs again y'all this is really nice so this room up here is blue but you have like the bubble blowing stations in here you also have a bar over here that came with late night you have the bathrooms over here in the corner so this is really cool though so you have like two like little clubs in one all right y'all so now let's go back and let's go to the jumanji so let's check this out i mean it's named after the movie so i'm kind of curious to see what's on the inside of it oh my gosh y'all this is so cool look at this it's like jumanji like a little jungle in here this is so nice let's see when you come in you have like a bar right here what do you have over here you have like a little dance floor area this is so cool like look at all the trees and stuff like that and plants you have a bathroom over here in the corner oh no over here you have like a little hot tub another bathroom over here in the corner Corner. you have a little fire pit out here so you can come and roast food all right y'all so now let's go over here to this lot so this is the scotch hollow v 
FW. So let's check this one out next. Okay, y'all. So when you ride the elevator up here, assuming you can get in, of course, it is roped off. But <laughs> if you can get in, you have the arcade games in here. You also have like a bar right here, places to sit. You have the stage with the instruments on it, bathrooms over here in the corner. And then you also have like another room that's roped off. You have like another bar in here, shuffleboard, ball table. Uh, you can watch TV in here as well. You have the dartboard. So that's pretty cool as well. And there's even like a little sink over here in the corner. Okay, y'all. So now let's go over here to this lot. So this is called the Finn's Fountains. So let's check this out next. All right, yeah, so we're down here at Finn's Fountains and it looks like a little water park, but I could be wrong. There is like hot scotch out here. There's also like a little grill right here as well. A little place to sit over here as well. And then up here you have like the water slot. So maybe it is like a little water park or something like that. Like a little fun place to come and hang out or something like that. You also have like a hot tub in here as well. So that's pretty cool. And then you have like these little pools, which are simply come and get in. So that's really nice as well. Okay, y'all. So now let's go over here to this area and we'll go to the abandoned lot next. Okay, y'all. So we're down here at the abandoned lot and it's right behind the criminal career rabbit hole but there's really nothing out here aside from like the little like drill that you can use with ambitions and stuff like that you also have the fire pit out here but there's nothing really out here though okay y'all so now let's go back over here to this area and we'll go over here and check out the crook shanks bar and then we'll check out the dark shadows lounge so let's check out this bar first okay y'all so this lot is super super bright and i don't know why and i can't really make out a lot of it but there is like a bar in here there's also like a dance floor and i don't know what's over here on this side but it's so so bright even with like all the lights turned off it's super bright when i turn on all the lights it's even brighter oh there's like foosball tables over here i guess this is like a couch or something i can't make out most of it but it is super bright <laughs> there is like also like a stereo in here and places to sit as well you also have like the bathrooms over here in the corner so that's pretty cool but yeah it's super bright i can't see everything though all right y'all so now let's go over here to the dark shadows lounge next so when you come inside you have a nice little lounge lobby area down here so this is pretty cool there's also the bathrooms over here in the corner they even have showers in them so that's pretty cool now the, i went upstairs but there's nothing upstairs but i guess you have to go downstairs then so let's go ahead and go downstairs oh this is so cool this is nice wait this is nice whoa i like this so when you come downstairs let's see you have bathrooms over here in the corner you have an arcade cabinet right here bubble blowing station here and here there's a dance floor right here you have a little lounge place to sit down you have a bar right here as well you have a little another little place to lounge out at over here you have some fountains over here in this corner a hot tub there's a, like a lot of stuff to do down here and i'm guessing if you go downstairs again there's even more down here let's see so when you come downstairs again or write the elevator down you have a piano in here you have some vamp vampire altars so I guess your vampire sims can come in here and like rest up. So this is pretty cool though. Okay, y'all. So now let's go ahead and go back this way. Let's go over here next and check out the Lake Valley Salvage. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Lake Valley Salvage and it is just like a salvage yard. So you have like the scrap over here as well. There's a fire pit and stuff like that. You have like a little widget that you can make with ambitions, more scrap as well. So if you need like another little scrap yard, you have it. But now let's go over here next, y'all, and go to this a lot. So this is the Rabbit Ridge Lakeshore Park. And then you also have the beach. So I guess we'll check out the park first and then we'll go to the beach next. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the park and there is like a little fire pit out here i don't know if there's anything else out here besides like little park benches to sit on i don't think so but you could definitely add more out here if you wanted to and then of course you do have the beach out here which is really not much out here either but you could definitely add more onto it if you want it and then of course you have the beautiful beach and the beautiful water out here the beautiful scenery of the world so it does look pretty nice out here though all right y'all so now let's go to this little area so this is the rabbit ridge communal crops so let's check this out next yo this is like a little farm this is so cool look at this you have like some harvestables growing out here you have some more growing right here as well this is so cool though more harvestables over here a kinspa outside of it you have like this little barn let's go ahead and scroll down though to see what's on the inside so when you come in there's a bathroom right here uh, there's also a register right here maybe like a consignment store register you have a little place to sit over here as well you have the nectar rack in here so like this is pretty cool though like look at all the harvestables and stuff like that and then of course like this lot is like in like a nice little like neighborhood area so like you have a house right here and then i think there's like one right here so let's check out this house first since we're like right here to it anyway so you have like this nice little blue house let's go ahead and scroll down so what let's see so when you come inside you have like the kitchen over here in this corner a bathroom right here you have a little living room area and then of course you have like a bedroom i think this bed is, is store content by the way do you it has like its own walk-in closet and then out here on the back you have a computer desk out here a little place to sit you have a little pond out here you have a little table over here with another kinspa a grill and then of course you have like the beautiful scenery like y'all this is so beautiful like look at all of this landscaping and stuff a fire pit out here as well like this is so cool and then of course if you keep going it leads you out to this lot, lot that we were just at and then like there's this other house like right here that we didn't even see yet let's see so out here but outside the house you have like a little place to sit a fountain out here bike rack a 
another kinspa right there let's go ahead and scroll down though let's see so when you come in there's a little sitting area right here a bedroom a living room area right here you have a little office space right here so that's pretty cool there's a bathroom over here in the corner and then you have like the kitchen right here with the kitchen table you have a little sitting area right here with the stereo and then there's even like a grill and stuff out here outside of it and then over here it looks like a little greenhouse so that's pretty cool art easel out here as well you have more harvestables out here and then let's go ahead and go downstairs real quick so when you go downstairs you have a bathroom right here you have a living room area right here you have a foosball table you have some artifacts over here on display a little sitting area right here surf serving bar with a nectar rack a bathroom right here in the corner there's also an inventing room slash exercising room you have another little kids room in here so this house has tons of space for so many sims i think a sim lives here though but this house has tons of space y'all and then like outside of the house there's like a little place to lounge at there's also like a chess table so like there's so much to see on just these lots right here <laughs> like so much okay but now let's go over here to this section y'all we'll go to the rabbit ridge cemetery and then we'll go over here to the rabbit ridge ch ch chapel all right y'all so right over here at the cemetery and of course you have like the graves and stuff like that out here you have like little places to sit down at and i guess you can just come and like you know remember the dead and stuff like that so this is pretty cool and then of course you have like the chapel that's right next door to it a uh, nice a-frame and everything like that so let's go ahead and scroll down Ooh, this is nice so let's see when you come in you have like the pews in here you have like the chairs where you can come and sit at you have a, a office right here a little meeting room over here with a bookshelf there's also a little like area for kids a bathroom right here a little costume chest right here a bathroom over here in this corner and then out here outside of it you have the wedding art so you can come out here and get married if you wanted to and then of course it's like right out here by like the lake so that's pretty cool as well all right y'all so now let's go over here to the barn dance and then we'll go over here to the little nectary let's check out the barn dance first all right y'all so we're down here at the barn dance and this is so cool like look at how big this is though i guess this is like a little dance club you have like a little nice little dance floor area down here you have like a little area for a live band you have a little place where you can sit out here as well let's go ahead and open it up though let's see so when you come inside you have foosball table in here shuffleboard bathrooms over here in the back dartboard as well so that's pretty cool there's also like a bar out here you can grill out here if you want to or you can roast food by the fire pit you can get married out here if you want to because that's a wedding arch you can fish out here if you wanted to so like there's so many activities out here this is really cool you have like a little like deck out here where you can come and just sit like there's so much to do on this one little lot all right y'all so now let's go over here to the little nectary next all right y'all so we're down here at the nectary and it looks so cool i like the way it looks let's go ahead and scroll down though let's see so when you come inside you have the register right here and of course you have like the nectar racks where you can come and browse nectar or taste it if you want to you have a little deck out here where you can come and make the nectar you have like little places where you can come and sit down what's over here so you have like the harvestables growing so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and go upstairs because there are some stairs right here though you have a little area out here where you can come and sit um on the deck you have the bathrooms in the back and then you have like a food register right here so i guess you could treat this as a, like a little restaurant or something you even have the nectar racks in here as well so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go over here to these lots i think these are like the last two lots so we have this one this is the gas and gruel and this one is the grinders grog shop so let's check out the uh hangout first all right y'all so this looks like it's a little like gas station or something like that so let's go ahead and scroll down Ooh, let's see so when you come in oh this is really cool though so when you come in you just have like the food register so i guess you can come and like order food again it does use some fast lane stuff so you will need that stuff pack as well and i guess right here is the grog shop so let's go ahead and scroll down so when you come in you have a bar you also have some tables in here as well let's go ahead and go upstairs and then when you go upstairs you have some more tables where you can come and sit at and then you also have a bathroom over here so i guess this is like a little pub or something like that all right y'all so we've seen all of the community lots now let's check out some of the houses we won't get to see every single house because there's so much in this world but we'll check out some of them so let's go over here to this little area we'll check out like these two and then we'll like skip around so let's go down here and check out like these two houses right here first all right y'all so we're down here in this little area and these look like little apartment homes i would say so let's just go ahead and scroll down to see what they look like uh, okay so this side is inaccessible okay that makes sense so let's see when you scroll down on this side at least so when you come in you have a nice little kitchen area over here you have a bathroom over here slash laundry room there's also the dining table a little living room area right here and then when you go upstairs so you have like a bathroom in this corner inventing table chemistry table there's even like the lounge chairs out here where you can come and chill on the balcony bathroom right here you have a bedroom there's another bedroom over here as well so this one is pretty spacious i like it so i guess we could check out the ones over here so i'm assuming like some of these are like inaccessible so let's go and let's go ahead and scroll down though yeah so this is the side that you can actually live on the other ones are inaccessible you have a kitchen over here you have a bedroom you have the bathroom over here another bedroom you have a piano there's also like a little sitting living room area right here with the with the nectar rack and a dining table let's check out this house next because it kind of caught my eye all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i just know that these sims are living really lavishly like look at this out here y'all like look at this pool hello 
How many Sims do you know have a pool like this? This is so cool. We got like lounge chairs out here where you can come and lounge. This is so nice. Let's go ahead and open this house up though. Let's see. So when you come in, you have a living room area right here with a bar. You have like the table right here. There's also like a bedroom here. The kitchen is over here in this corner. Bedroom over here as well. You have a bathroom right here. And then you have like another like little room in here. I guess this is like a little office space maybe. And then there's even like a balcony out here as well. And I don't think there's anything else above this though. So I guess some of it is like inaccessible, but this is pretty cool though. I like this house. All right, y'all. So now let's just go over here to this little area. And I guess we'll just check out like maybe two houses. Let's check out like this big one. And then maybe we'll check out like one of these smaller ones. So let's check out the big one first. All right, y'all. So we're down here at this house and it has like a really nice Tudor style. Very big. Let's go ahead and open it up though. Oh my gosh, y'all. There is so much in this house. Like we got to start at the garage, I guess. Let's look at the garage real quick. So you have a garage down here. I have all the lights turned on, but I guess we just really can't see in here though. But you have like the nectar machine in here. There's a weight machine, art easel in here as well. Uh, inventing table in here here like there's so much in this one house and like in here you have like a little like area right here by the front door you have a buffet table dining room in here you have like this really nice big room in here with a lot of places to sit down at there's like a little office over here you have a piano over here on the platform a bathroom right there and then let's see over here you have like a little sitting room area with a shuffleboard in it then up when you go upstairs you have like a i guess this could be like a little kitcheny area right here with a stove really cool you have like a, a fireplace right here and a little place where you can sit and then over here you have like a bathroom another like kitcheny area right here like there's so much to look at out here and then even out here on the back you have like a swimming pool and tables and stuff like that and grills and lounge chairs and stuff let's go ahead and go upstairs though so when you go upstairs you have like a secondary living room up here there's also a nursery right here maybe like a room for kids or teens in here you have a another bathroom area right here which is like kind of small oh this is really cool it looks like a little kids bathroom so that's pretty cool there's also a drum set in this bedroom and then over here on this side of the house you have a bathroom right here you have another master bedroom in here so this is pretty cool like this house is so big y'all it even has like a fireplace in it like this house is so big and then when you go upstairs again y'all you have like another bedroom up here with an art easel its own ensuite bathroom there's even like a little sitting area over here with a bookshelf like there's just so much on this one little house all right y'all so now let's go over here to this side i guess we'll check out this little house next all right y'all so we're down here at this house next and it I like the way it looks. It kind of has that Tudor style to it. Very like yellowy brown, which is pretty cool. You have like the lounge chairs out here. You have like a little pool over here. So let's go ahead and open it up though. Let's see. So when you come inside, you have like a little area by the front door with a bookshelf in it. You have a living room area right here with the fireplace. There's a kitchen over here, a bathroom over here in this area. And then you just have like a bedroom. So I'm guessing it's like a one bedroom house because there's nothing upstairs. You have like this little like shed over here. So let's scroll down again. So it's like a garage though. So when you come in, you have like the training post and a fortune cookie machine in here as well. And then out here on the side of the house you just have like the chess table so that's pretty cool and all right y'all we'll look at like one more house let's look at this one next okay y'all so we're right down here at this house and it looks really really cool i like the roofing right here with the little slant how it goes down like that that's pretty cool there's even like a little parking space out here and there's like a little well of something in the back wait, wait let's go to the backyard real quick i want to see this real quick so like back out here on the backyard there's like a well you can jump into there's also like a little garden out here so you have like the tomatoes growing and some grapes and stuff like that and then out here like on the side of the house you have like a telescope out here you have like a little lounge area there's also like a grill but let's go ahead open this little house up though that's a lot out here let's open it up though let's see so when you come inside there's a little sitting area by the front door you have a dining room right here with the kitchen over here in the corner you have a little living room area right here with the bookshelf there's a serve serving bar right there a little sitting area on the corner you have a bathroom right here another bedroom right here and then there are some stairs that go upward so i guess we'll go upstairs next so when you go upstairs it's kind of lofted up here though but this is really cool though so i guess when you go upstairs you have like a little office space i would say because you have like a computer desk right here and you also have like a little sitting area right here and right here you have like a little stereo with a bookshelf so it's, it's really cool i like what the creator did with this i almost missed this but when you scroll down below i guess this is how you get into like this part of the house with a little well but when you come down you have like a bed right here and then you have a bathroom and then you also have like an inventing table and you have the chemistry set so you could use this room as like another bedroom or something or you can use it to display like artifacts or something like that you have a lot of options for this house though really cool though but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video i know that we didn't get a chance to see all the houses there are a lot of them in this world y'all this world is called scotch hollow i'll leave it linked down below just remember that when you go to download it it will be just completely empty when you get it off of the exchange however the creator on the website has a, a save file that you can use that goes directly with this world so please be sure to check that out i'll leave everything linked down below but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below be sure to follow me on twitch following is free and at my discord server because we talk about the sims all the time and that's a really cool vibe but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching